Hey everybody, this video brings us back out to the 422 Business Center because um, this place is a treasure trove of the weird and bizarre and just, just weird oddities in general. Happy Friday to all of you guys. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday, getting ready for your uh, weekend. Hopefully, hopefully you got some good plans for this weekend. So again, we're back out here at the 422 Business Center. Last time we were out here, we went and saw the Unisphere, which is pretty awesome. And oh, and the time before that, we actually saw the uh, the Albert E. New Newman Muffler Man next to his giant giraffe. That was pretty cool as well. But today, we're out here to see something that I love. You guys know I am a huge fan of trains, whether it's model trains, whether it's full-size trains, just trains in general. I am a train junkie. I should have shown you on the back of Annabelle. I have an I Heart Train sticker. And the reason for that is because I do indeed heart trains. So definitely want to get out here and show you guys something pretty awesome that sits right behind a BJ's wholesale store. Pretty cool, pretty awesome, pretty amazing. We've got some full-size dilapidated trains. Check these things out. How cool are these? Now, why are these sitting here, you may wonder? Well, at one point, this whole area was full of nothing but factories. This building here, the building over there is actually an old factory. I believe there were more factories over here at one point. The whole entire like 422 business center was nothing but factories. There's now a convention center over there. That was all factories and stuff as well. So as you can see, the trains are here. I actually used to sit on some train tracks. There are still some train tracks in the road here, obviously no longer used. They go that way. And if you actually follow these down, you do go to an old train trussle that goes over the, the um, Sku Schuylkill River. I think that's a Schuylkill River. It goes over the Schuylkill River there. And then when it goes over the Schuylkill River, it actually meets up with train tracks that are still to this day used. So at one point, the main train tracks down there that are still used today used to have this branch that came off here and went over to the, all these factories. And well, they used all these trains to deliver goods. And I guess these are trains that were probably at one point owned by the factories. That's my assumption. And then when the factories shut down and weren't used anymore, they just left them here to uh, rot and somebody took the time to park them here on the train tracks and make some cool little, uh, I don't know, display pieces out of them. Can we see what this says here? Um, something T-O-W-N, something town. I cannot make that out. It is looking pretty bad. If any of you guys know what that maybe says, leave a comment down below. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe the other side says the same thing. Oh, the other side's even worse. Who knows? I really want to climb up in these trains, but, um, they are covered in spider webs, like as you can see, and I am not a fan of spiders. Granted, they're not either. they're not spider webs. Sean, Sean's not a fan of spiders either. Their eyes. Their eyes are so creepy. <laughs> Is that what creeps you out about spiders? Oh, their eyes? Because it feels like I have the same eyes. I don't know what it creeps you out about spiders. I don't I just something about them freaks me out. I don't know why. Cause like any other bug, I'll pick up, I'll pick up a snake, I'll pick up a, like a rat, I'll pick up any any other bug. I'm like, oh cute little bug, I'll save its life. But a spider freaks me out, and I don't know. I'm kind of not wanting to dive up into this uh, train here because of the, the spider webs all over it. But look at this. There's the old uh, coal chute. Is it, well, that's not the boiler. Boiler, that's what I'm looking for. They, they shovel the coal into there, and then it made a fire, and then heated up the water that obviously was in here and created plenty of steam. I don't think we should get too close to that, though, because... Um, I could be wrong, I could be right. That looks like asbestos. I, yeah, this train, this train is definitely old enough to have asbestos on it. I don't know, that is asbestos. I'm caught, I'm, asbestos? asbestos is stuff you don't wanna mess with because it causes cancer. Oh. So stay, stay far, far away from asbestos. That, that might be what that is. I could be wrong, I have no idea. These trains, again, are definitely old enough to carry things like asbestos. If you know if that's what that is, leave a comment down below. As long as we don't mess with it, as long as you don't start playing with it, I think we're fine. You don't, you just don't wanna, Asbestos apparently is like not gonna hurt you unless you stir it up and it you know gets into your lungs. So as long as I don't touch it and mess with it, I should be okay. But that is still pretty crazy. I'm kind of surprised these are here if that is indeed asbestos. If you know, leave a comment down below because I'm not entirely sure. It's still really awesome to actually see like the coal shoot here. Look at that. You can see where the coal would come through. So they used to be right here would be the, the train car that actually held the coal. And it would come there and they would shovel it, shovel it into the furnace there, make the fire heat up the water, produce the steam, and this thing would power on down the track. Look at the look at the wheels on this thing. That's so awesome. So cool. I could just see these back in the day just popping back and forth. That's so awesome. Man, I love, I just love an awesome train. And these trains are definitely, 
really, really cool. This one's over here. This one over here, I believe, is um, either an electric or diesel, maybe. I'm thinking probably a diesel. Yeah, that's definitely a diesel engine in there. This is an old diesel train. No coal needed for this one. Look at that. I kind of wish they wouldn't have repainted these, although these might this might be the original paint to when these things were still operating. So maybe that's why they're painted. I don't know, but I kind of wish they weren't painted at all because I would love to see what the old decals and whatnot were on them. Who knows who wants to own these? Look at this. Wow. This one is very, very bright yellow. I'm going to say they've actually repainted this because the other side wasn't this bright. And this is the side that actually sits in the sun, meaning I'm thinking they've probably repainted these at one time, although it does say something down here. Look at that. What does that say? Anybody have any idea what that says right there? You can see there were definitely things written on here at one point. That definitely says something company. Almost looks like it may say steel. I'm seeing like uh, like EL, I don't know, maybe something steel company. I do not know what companies were once out here and what companies once had these. Again, you can kind of climb up on these. Like I'm thinking, is this gonna be really hot? That's no, okay. I'm out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb up here. Look at this, I'm on top of the train right now. Look at that. There's the engine, or the, the, the not, not engine, not caboose, the, what's it called here? What do you want, what do you want to do, buddy? You're not, you don't have to come up here. You can stay, you can stay down there. I'm coming up here. Look at this. How cool is that? Oh, there's definitely spider webs that I want to put my face into. Look at that. This is where the engineer used to hang out, operate the train. And it's like, it's like the, the, the throttle right there. I, I don't even know. If you know what all these gadgets and gizmos do and all these things do, leave comments down below. There's actually a, what buddy? You can see me? There's a decent amount of space in here. Look at this. I'm kind of surprised by how much space is actually in here. I mean, what would you do with all this, this extra room over here? I, I don't know, because it just takes this little space down here for the, what? More people? Yeah, I guess more people can hang out in here. That's cool. Definitely awesome to be up here. So again, I don't know if you're really allowed to climb around on these trains or not. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure they probably don't want you on these trains, but they don't have any signs that say keep off or no trespassing. So I'm saying you could definitely come up here. Very awesome. So diesel train there, steam engine there. I would climb up on the steam engine as well, but I don't want to uh, mess too badly with the spider webs. Ugh, we're down. All right, totally awesome. What's this one over here though? Is this another another diesel engine? Train number three. Train number three? I I'm, want the, uh, the other side. I'm gonna say this one, awesome. no, wait, wait, wait. I don't know what this one is. I was gonna say also diesel maybe, but I don't know, this is a, this is a Whitcomb. That's cool, look at that. Yeah, that's really neat that it actually says that. What? What is, what is that? Oh, train, train in interesting. So I don't know if this was a diesel engine here or trying to... Yeah, there, I don't see anything to, to put the coal in. So I'm guessing this is also a diesel engine. Look at this though, very cool. It's so neat that you could actually like look inside these and check them out. What do you think used to be in there? Extra gas, extra diesel, di di extra diesel. That's when you mix gas and diesel together. You get diesel, extra diesel in there. I have no idea. Still really, really cool. If you know any information about any of these trains, leave a comment down below. Do you know like the years on these? When was this Whitcomb made? I don't know. You look these up. Oh, look at that. <gasps> you can actually see the engine. Look at that. Wow, how awesome is that? That is very hot, by, by the way. You wanna see in there? Let's see what we can do from the other side, because that is really, really warm. Maybe you can open up these sides. Oh, there you go, look at that, buddy. Wow! I know, look at the engine in there. How cool is that? Look at the giant fan on it. it just like, like just like a fan in a, in a car. It kinda looks like this face is just looking at you. It looks like a face? Where? See, like where there's like two little Oh, little it, it does come like a face. I see what you're saying. So that looks very much like a like a car engine. So I'm thinking that's definitely a diesel engine. All right, so then on the train number four here, this one's got some flatbed cars. Somebody broke, it's from a bottle. Somebody broke a bottle on here. Somebody was out here drinking or something. And there's this little tiny one right here. Look at this, with a tiny little engine. This one must've just been around, used around the yard just to pull some light things. Again, diesel probably, I'm assuming, yeah. That says Train Tourist Rail, look at that. Train Tourist Railway Association Incorporated. So, gets me wondering, like, was this part of a tourist railway association 
trained back in the day or maybe they were just out here looking at these and they put their sticker on there to say, hey, we were out here. I don't, I don't have any idea why that's there. Maybe if you guys know, leave a comment down below. Are you part of the train railway, or train tourist railway association? I'm gonna look into that. Maybe they were just out here. Again, maybe this train was part of their association at one point. If I was part of a train association, I would have come out here to look at these. Very cool, very awesome. Look at that. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for the trains out here at the 422 Business Center. Very awesome, very cool. If you guys are into trains, definitely something to come out here and see. I think at this point we've, with the exception of the, um, the museum we haven't done yet out here, we've done most everything out here to see that is just free to come out and check out. So if you guys are in the Oaks, Pennsylvania area, definitely get out to the 422 Business Center, check out the, the Alfred E. Newman Muffler Man, check out the Unisphere, and definitely check out these awesome old vintage trains that are just sit, sitting here to rust. Again, you can kind of sort of climb on these, whether or not you're actually allowed to or not, I don't know, but there is no sign that says no trespassing, no sign this is to keep off. So I'm gonna say it's okay to uh, to come out here and climb on these and get your photos taken and whatnot. But all right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Very awesome. Again, Oaks, Pennsylvania, 422 Business Center. Something else cool to take a look at. Awesome trains, full-size trains. You can climb around on, but I'm gonna go, guys. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check down below for a link to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, you guys get a free postcard sent to you every single month. I will autograph it, sign it, write something nice. Sean yeah, wants I to get on that. Sean, Sean will at the very least sign his name on the postcard as well. So from the road, I will send you a postcard at the beginning of every single month. If you do become a, a, Patreon, a patron, also check down below for links to Spreadshirt. You can grab yourself a What's With Dave Today t-shirt. Proceeds both from Patreon and from Spreadshirt do help put gas inside Vanabelle so we can go and check out awesome things like this. And I can bring you guys along with me to check out cool and amazing, awesome things like this. I think the truck there, is he pulling away? I think that truck is, is going somewhere. It's making a lot of racket. There he goes, truck is pulling away. So as you can see, they do still kind of do stuff out here. These, I don't know what these business, businesses do now, but they are still in use. Not using trains anymore, unfortunately. Though there is still a train track running right right there i don't believe that train track is in use anymore but see again trains all around here back in the day when these used to be factories anyway i know i said i was gonna go so um hit the like button hit the subscribe button notification bell again check down below for all the different links and if you guys do hit that subscribe button i will see you in tomorrow's video so have a great friday guys hope you're gonna have a fantastic weekend and i will see you all tomorrow on saturday all right bye, bye. <laughs> see you guys see you guys